what's in here. What's going on YouTube? We uh, we got all cleaned up, rested up, geared up. We got um, Daisy's blisters dialed in, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. And we're heading off to a new spot, and we're going to spend the rest of the week that we're here in some serious backcountry. Um, so we're going to, we need to get some stuff from the grocery store, make sure we have plenty of ice, and basically enough stuff just to like last us for a week, because it's going to be too hard to get back and forth from town. Um, so yeah. You guys come on along. This is probably going to be the last edit that I do. And hopefully we'll have some elk on the ground soon. Um, any day is pre-rut. I mean, it's there. they should be coming down off the top of the mountains chasing cows. And hopefully the, in this area they'll uh, they'll start being more vocal. And this is kind of a, a rural area where hopefully we don't run into as many hunters as we have been the last couple days. So, anyways. What am I supposed to do while you're making videos? Just stand here and keep looking stupid? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Make sure. Just make sure I do my part. Right. See, yeah, okay. that, that was that's good. Yeah. Sure that yeah. Seriously. <laughs> just making sure. So, uh, anyways, God bless you guys. We're gonna watch a little church ser service this morning, and then we're gonna get after it, do some class in the rest of the day, set up camp, and hunt this evening. That I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Then we respond in baptism as that eunuch did in Acts chapter 8, verses 38 and following. Baptism that puts us into Christ, Galatians 3 27. Baptism that now his power is evident. And thanks be to God for all that he grants us through his word that we may study and know his. Alright, guys, it's getting exciting. So that it looks pretty barren and pretty desert out here. But the higher we go, it's going to be some pretty lush uh, elk, elk country. So, we still got probably another 30 minutes on this off-road. Look at this. It's absolutely amazing. Alright, y'all. We are, uh, let say motorized and chemical travel limited to desert routes. No off-road travel. Alright, y'all. So, we will see you guys back here when we get set up for camp. God, so good. This is coming on up. All right, you guys, we are back here, and there is only a few hunters, which is really cool. Um, a lot of land to hunt. We're setting up our tent in some of these trees, drying out some clothes. Rainstorm is coming. Hopefully it kind of, let's see, which way is it? Seems kind of like it's moving off that way, but I don't know. We're hoping to try to get over that way and glass for the evening and just try to get on some elk for the morning. Um, but there's a lot of land to cover out here, so. We're gonna be making big circles every day, but at least it's not as steep as the other stuff, so. All right, we got all our stuff in here, now time to organize. Yeah. And camp is set up. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna hike up on this ridge and do some glassing this evening, see what we can see. It's beautiful out here. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this friendship and this hunt. Thank you for your creation and your wonderful animals. Uh, just please be with us. Keep us safe. Keep us accurate. And keep our family safe. And we're just thankful for everything. We just know pray. Amen. Amen. We out here, you guys. So basically how we're set up and how this tree line is. How that mountain goes around all that's really good elk habitat we got us a little uh little rock ledge little rainstorm passing through so we sit up here under this tarp chill out for a little bit and uh stay dry we'll get back to hunting this evening smelt us 
elk. We're going to get to this edge of this ridge right over here. We're going to spend the evening glassing, seeing if we can't see a bunch. spot. I'll just check it out and see what comes out right before dark. Here we are, awesome evening. Scouting and glassing. And we're heading back to camp now. On some old some old cow trails. Makes it a little easier getting through this stuff. For sure. It's about to be dark, so we'll have to pull our headlamps out in a minute. Alright you guys, we made it back to camp. Three miles in the dark and some pretty gnarly terrain. God is good. See you guys in the morning. We are almost to the top of this little mountain. Do a bunch of glassing up here for a while. But uh, it's a big country out here, it definitely looks a lot smaller than it really is. But we're getting after it. Did you? Come on, get up here, come on, here, 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 there, come on. Where'd it go? So we were going back to our other spot where we've seen elk. Um, we stayed here two days and we did 10 miles, 10 hard miles and there wasn't really much fresh elk sign and we didn't see any elk. And so we're just kind of feeling like, I don't know, I want to just go back to the other spot and at least like try to finish out this hunt with more of a chance of seeing, there's just so much sign over this other spot. And you know, we took a risk coming out here and trying to check this out, but you know, maybe we should have stayed over there, but yeah, it's still a really cool venture. Um, so we got you guys you know, liked it so far. Um, but uh, we couldn't find that grouse either, so I don't know. What, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm pretty sure I hit it. I did just shoot through a bunch of sticks and stuff, so that's the only shot it gave me. But anyhow, we're gonna head back to the other spot, grab some lunch, and uh, see you guys out there tonight. We'll be uh, be able to be set back up, and we'll hunt the evening in that spot and see what happens. <clears throat>
last night. Really cool all day. So I'm hoping that uh, some more elk come back out of this field tonight. But their bedding is just all along here. Times we've scouted in there, it's just so much fresh sign. So many beds. It's also north facing. So, good Lord willing, one will come out and the wind will stay good. Good morning, guys. So, uh, Daisy decided to take the morning off, just rest up a little bit, and uh, get after it. But we're gonna work this bench. Instead of going up the mountain the other way, I want to go the way I haven't went yet. See what kind of signs over there, and also uh, see if we run into any elk. It's early. It's it's been storming the last two days, so I feel like they should be moving around a lot more. So I'm gonna cow call my way in. So whatever thinks I'm coming as a cow, you know. So all right, let's get after it. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this hunt. Thank you for this whole experience. Uh, I just appreciate you. spring up here. It's cool little water source. It's pretty neat. Well, you guys can't tell, but <clears throat> it'd be bad news if I fell right here. Super, super steep. And the cliff drops off right down there. <clears throat> I've been following this game trail for a while. So we're just going to keep on going. Might drop down to the lower bench in a little bit. <laughs> Alright, you guys, it is the uh, middle of the day. We're working some of this. Uh, basically, drove up to 12,000 feet, and I'm gonna work these benches all the way back down to camp. See if we can't come across some really good sign. Maybe even jump a elk. There's poop and all kind of stuff all up here. Tracks all over the place. So, good lord willing, might be able to get on an elk. And 800 feet. We've got a pond up here. I've been on this flat bench just working it, checking out sign. There's just there's so much sign up here. I think I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and just see if anything wants to come to get something to drink. There's tracks all along this water. Another elk track. Looks like there's water down there. Food, bedding. Man, this is where the elk have been.
fresh. Alright you guys, another day. We're gonna hike up to this bench. It's about 200 feet up here. It's just like an elk oasis up here. We're gonna, it'll be about 11,800 feet. There's just like a highway of fresh sign up here. And um, so we're gonna see if there's, if they're up there today. Get on after him. If you go right there and take a left and go up that way instead of this way, you'll see those tracks and poop and stuff. Yeah. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this hunt. Thank you for this friendship and an opportunity to be in your creation. Keep us safe and uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <coughs> Alright, guys, as the sun comes up, the thermals start to rise. So we're trying to stay. A little bit above where we think the elk will be if they're there, so they won't wind us. So we're side hilling. I walked this yesterday, as you guys can see on footage, and uh, I'm basically going a lot higher than I did. Uh, just so if the elk are below us. We'll have the wind in our face, the thermals on our face. At least it'll be like that till about noon and then it'll change. Alright guys, so we got the thermals blowing at our face. We got a major water source up here, 11,800 feet. And all down here is just lots and lots of sign. That meadow, that meadow dude, connects to over here, and it's right on the other side of those trees, and it just goes way down. So we're going to hang out here for about an hour and a half, you guys, and do some bugling, see what calls back to us. And uh, if anything, just wait on some animals. So, uh, yeah, we're following a game trail right now. You see some of those tracks right there. So we're going to follow and see what's up here. So we're up here uh, where the tree line stops. We're pretty high up. We follow this game trail into this little basin. Into this like bowl. I don't really see any elk. So we're gonna head back to the camp. I am very humbled by this elk hunting trip. It's been very hard in a lot of different ways. I'm going down this rocky stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm ending the video today. It's like I said, it's it's been real hard, um, but I'm super thankful. I've learned a lot in the two and a half weeks I've been here. Um, I got to spot and stalk on a cow, got up to 60 yards before the wind swirled. I got bugled at opening day. Um, we've seen all kind of wildlife and just to sit in the presence with the Lord um, and just detox from society and you know all the things that um, are worldly you know you come out here in the woods it's it's simple you got shelter you got water you got food 
you know, I've been roughing it. It's been uh, cool pooping outside. <laughs> it makes you realize at the same time all the things that, you know, we take for granted in our everyday life. And uh, I have made an awesome friendship. And Daisy is one cool dude. And uh, definitely look forward to future hunts with him. Especially this year as, we, as he gets back to Tennessee. And uh, I'm super thankful for my wife. Um, for all the support and love. And then I'm also thankful for everybody at the tattoo shop. Holding it down. Watching my back and taking care of it. And uh, looking forward to seeing my kids. And But anyways... Um, yeah, elk are like ghosts. As big as they are, they're very hard to hunt. And we basically, the last three days, we have spent about six days in this spot, but we checked out another spot. But yeah, we're basically camped at 10,800 feet, and we've been hunting at 11,800 feet. Um, and that's where the elk have been, and it's it's been tough. But like I said, it's... It's been an awesome way to kick off this uh, 2023 hunting season, and I'm uh, stoked that you guys could come along and check out my first elk hunt. And I hope you like all the videos. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. God bless you guys. Um, you know, God, God is your strength. He is your helper, and in all, and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, and um, that is a fact. <laughs> But, uh, so anyways, um, I'll see you guys on the next episode and take care and God bless.